Thank you very much, Mr. Whit. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. If I could thank the Secretary of State for his kind words about Winnie Ewing and Craig Brown, and obviously pay my own personal tribute to Winnie Ewing, who was such an icon for our party and almost uniquely served in three parliaments, our own yeah. Madam Ecos. Yeah. Yeah. Food inflation in the UK at over 19 per cent is 50 per cent higher than among our EU neighbours. Yet both the Government and Labour Party seem to be in complete denial about Brexit's contribution to this cost of eating crisis. With 28 per cent of the UK's food coming from Europe, how will his government prevent a new surge in food prices next winter when extra checks, post-Brexit checks, are introduced at the border? Um, Mr Speaker, um, as the Chancellor has said, food price inflation has been a problem in many parts of um, Europe. In Germany, uh, Sweden, Portugal and and Poland, uh, food price inflation is around 20 per cent. This is not a UK-only problem. This government is doing everything they can to deal with Putin's invasion in Ukraine and the aftermath of the pandemic. And we're also t- tackling um, the one central focus, which is bringing inflation down and ensuring that that is this government's um, one priority. Dr. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. The London School of Economics shows that a third of food inflation in the UK is due to Brexit. Yep. But yeah. also with the loss of freedom of movement and European workers, Brexit has also caused £60 million of Scottish fruit and veg to rot in the fields, threatening farms and further increasing the cost of even domestic produce. As a Brexiteer, shouldn't the Secretary of State apologise to the Scottish public, including his own constituents, for driving up food prices, and maybe explain why he still supports the proven liar who was one of its main architects? Um, Mr Speaker, we do not accept the SNP's um, analysis. And as I have already explained, food inflation is an issue in many parts uh, of Europe. I think it is a bit rich for the SNP uh, member to be raising uh, food price inflation and rising costs, especially when leaked papers this morning revealed that SNP ministers in Edinburgh are discussing raising council tax by up to 22.5 per cent, meaning, meaning that some people will end up paying £751 more a year. Under the SNP in Scotland, local government funding has been gutted, forcing councils to slash local services and impose large tax hikes. I will take no lessons from the Honourable Member about bringing prices down for households in Scotland.